Oh, now I got it now. Why are you acting like that? Quit recording me like don't quit recording me like you don't put me out on the walls or some shit. I know what that looks like, y'all. I know it looks like that that man is fed up and he's recording for his protection, but it, it's, it smells vaguely manipulative right there. Just a, a whiff, a whiff of manipulation. Allegedly, this Martel Holt and his ex-wife getting into it and she's re he's recording her reactions and whatnot. But this person says that they are a male's manager and I'm going to say this, don't think for one minute that we don't have receipts galore. We could have ruined her ex a long time ago. This incident was the aftermath of him taking every penny of her hard earned money. So if you're dealing with a narcissist or a toxic person, y'all, I'm not saying that he is, but they will rile you up and then record your reactions. Like he is too calm. Like listen to that. Go back and listen to that very first part of y'all. He's like, oh, why are you doing this? Why are you acting like this? Like he's, it seemed like he's taking pleasure from her reacting like that. And then she's saying like, stop acting like you innocent. Like you just did something. Like now you putting out your phone. Now you recording me. And somebody sent it to my inbox said they have four kids together and he's had some cheating scandals and allegedly, apparently he's allegedly, he's had a couple of kids outside the marriage that he's been cheating or whatever. So uh, what that woman might, might be experiencing right there is what a lot of people refer to as reactive abuse. It's when you're riled up and you you at your wits end. Like you react out of character. You just had it. Like you've been putting up with it for so long and then you just explode. And a lot of times they'll pull their phone out and record your reactions in order to play the victim. Oh, look at y'all, look what, look what I'm putting up with. Look look at this crazy woman right here. Look at this crazy person that I'm dealing with. Wow, look, I'm the victim here. Y'all go back and listen to his voice. He's too calm throughout the whole thing. Mel, don't do that. You're gonna ruin the couches. Don't do that. Look at you acting like this. You're gonna ruin the friendship. And then even in that video, she herself says, put my money back. You know, where's the money? He was like, oh, we just put the other money 50-50. Yeah, it just smells, it's, there's a whiff of manipulation in the air where maybe this person, this man right here, I know women can be narcissistic, but this man right here has, you know, he's trying to make himself seem like the victim and all his actions and behaviors before this or after this are justified because she's reacting this way. She's spraying thinner on the couch or whatever. She's ruining the furniture because she's angry and she's fed up. That's why I tell you when you're dealing with narcissistic people, controlling your reactions is a superpower.